Hello and welcome to Luxio. Today we're going to a unique destination and check out the famous footballer, Cristiano Ronaldo's magnificent private island. But before we begin, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on more of our awesome videos. Cristiano Ronaldo is currently the most famous footballer on the planet. Because of his tremendous social media reach, we may now consider him a celebrity. The Portuguese have about a half a billion followers, which is rather impressive. Apart from his fame, the former Juventus player has made history by becoming the first player to be proclaimed a billionaire. The 37-year-old father of five is now under contract with $60 million a year and earns millions of dollars from his various endorsement deals, including a $1 billion lifetime contract with sportswear giant Nike. Apart from his passion for sports, it is apparent that the Real Madrid record goal scorer adores his homeland in Portugal, his hometown of Madeira in Lisbon in particular. People there adore him as well. In fact, in Madeira, he is more of a demigod. After Portugal won the Euros in 2016, he was honored by having the airport named after him, Cristiano Ronaldo Madeira International Airport. At airports, we're used to seeing names of past politicians, but back on the island, the five-time FIFA player of the year is everything the residents admire. Cristiano Ronaldo bought a portion of the island at Funchal Madeira known as Canical. He built his family house, private museum, and five-star hotel not far from the private island. The magnificent private island, which boasts a beautiful view of the Atlantic Ocean, gives everything to a guy who grew up in extreme poverty before rising to unfathomable heights. Madeira is part of an archipelago in southwestern Portugal that includes numerous other islands. When the world was rocked by the coronavirus outbreak earlier this year, the football hero returned to his island to be with his family. He created a highly nice residence as one might imagine. There, the resort boasts private beach access and all the amenities of a seven-star hotel. The home where Ronaldo is staying includes six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. The lavish home features an indoor and outdoor infinity pool as well as a flower garden and a tiny amusement park. You know, to keep the kids busy. In 2015, the former Manchester United forward is no stranger to buying islands. As a wedding present, he bought an island for his long-term agent and colleague Jorge Mendez, an influential sports mogul. Jorge and Ronaldo have a long history together. Aside from the fact that he is his agent, making them best friends in some way, he was Jorge's best friend. According to sources, Ronaldo spent more than $50 million on the island in Greece and donated it to the newlyweds Jorge and Sandra. The 53-year-old also represents some of football's biggest names, including Jose Marino. David De Gea and Radamel Falcao. When Cristiano is back in Europe generating millions through his favorite sport, his own island home is generally available for rent. Only those who can afford the hefty weekly fees of almost 4,000 euros are eligible. A seven-story palace worth $7 million stands not far from the private island where his family lives. It used to be a warehouse before the famed football hero bought it and transformed it into a beautiful luxury residence. Georgina Rodriguez, his stunning girlfriend, was the one who initially recognized the location, stating, It's a wonderful view of the sea is enticing. What can we say? This is a man in love, as we all know. And because money was not an issue, the couple decided to buy the house and refurbish it. The property was previously owned by Nini Andrade Silva, a local designer, and is located just a few kilometers from the famous Savoy Hotel. A rooftop, swimming pool, eight bedrooms, and two living rooms are available. Cristiano, a fitness enthusiast who, by the way, has only 2% body fat, told the developers to make a place for two gyms. One is for him and the other for his similarly fit girlfriend. How do you think he's maintained his sculpted abs for so long? He works out as some of us eat. There's also a tiny football pitch where he can play with his son, Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., who is 9 years old. The location is similar to most romantic vacation places.
Imagine relaxing in your living room while looking out the window and seeing nothing but gorgeous, peaceful ocean water. Isn't that wonderful? The view of the port of Funchal from the rooftop is breathtaking. No one could resist being quarantined at this magnificent location for whatever reason. Cristiano Ronaldo is an idol for the people of Madeira outside of the property. He has, after all, transformed the area into a thriving tourist destination. Owing to his imposing presence in the sporting world, the living legend has been memorialized in his homeland with the construction of a large statue of him that can be seen by anybody visiting the island. Despite citizens' complaints that the statue does not appear like the superstar they like and appreciate, the true objective of the memorial remains intact. Sculptor Emmanuel Santos handmade the massive bronze figure, which was unveiled in March 2017. Another statue of Ronaldo was unveiled in Santiago Bernabeu, Spain. Only this time, Jose Antonio Navarro Artiega, a Spanish sculptor, got everything just right in terms of design. Back in Portugal, his popular museum is located in the heart of Ronaldo's birthplace. All of the players' awards, trophies, signatures, jerseys, match day balls handed after scoring, hat tricks, and other significant mementos are maintained at the CR7 Museum for tourists to see. In addition, the facility is the official sponsor of a local sports team. In front of the museum, a tiny statue of the footballer has been constructed. Ricardo Veloza, a Madeiran sculptor, created it this time. Everything on this island revolves around Ronaldo. His hotel ventures on the island of Madeira are another feature with a now-famous CR7 touch. Pastana CR7 Hotels The brand name alone is enough to attract attention. Apart from being a talented footballer, Cristiano has shown to be a successful businessman, earning $1 billion from just an on-field meetings. As a result, when he decided to invest, he couldn't think of a better place to begin than his hometown. He collaborated with Pestana, one of Portugal's largest hotel chains, to develop a considerably more profitable hospitality investment. The hotel is situated directly on the edge of the sea, providing residents with a breathtaking view of the ocean. Ocean. Since then, the business has evolved with the hotel opening locations in Lisbon, New York, and Paris. We can all agree that Cristiano Ronaldo has accomplished a lot with his hard work, tenacity, and endurance. If all heroes were treated with the same respect he receives in his hometown, the world would undoubtedly be a better place. Ronaldo bought a section of this area because of his affection for it. Visitors to Madeira are served a unique menu called Ronaldo Drink in local hotels, a drink named after their true son. Imagine flying to Madeira for a holiday, arriving at Cristiano Ronaldo International Airport, checking into the CR7 Pestana Hotel, sipping Ronaldo cocktails, and visiting the CR7 Museum. Still trying to figure out who the true legend is? To summarize, despite owning many mansions, luxurious automobiles, private islands, and substantial investments, Ronaldo remains one of the world's most generous celebrities. He sold his golden boot for 1.5 million euros at auction in 2011 so that he can construct a school for Gaza's underprivileged children. He is also a UNICEF ambassador who donates his bonus to the charity regularly. He also supports a cancer center in Madeira where his mother had treatment at one Point. He was awarded the world's most generous sportsman in 2015 after contributing 5 million euros to aid recovery efforts in Nepal following a terrible earthquake. The president of Portugal gave him the status of Grand Officer of the Order of Prince Henry for his selflessness. With a fortune like this, the possibilities are endless and appreciated more because of the tremendous effort and sacrifice being given throughout the years. Cristiano Ronaldo is the most deserving icon for that. We also made another video where you'll see how our football superstar spends his millions which you could check out at the link below. As always, thank you for supporting us. If you haven't yet, make sure you give us thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring and valuable content like this. We'll see you in the next video.